Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint your very own Leopard, Appaloosa, or Nat Strapper. So what you're going to need is very simple for this horse. A cup of water, paper towels, white paint, black paint, tan paint, and some pink paint, and some brown paint. And of course, paint brushes to paint on the model. And of course, the model. It can be, it sh I used a prime model easier, but of course you can use your, a model that's not primed. It's perfectly fine, people. <coughs> <coughs> you whoa, Buster. People do that all the time. And I just, you know, as you can tell, I am watering down my paint. That is what I'm doing off to the side. I'm dipping it in my jar. So it gets this smooth kind of look to it. No streaks in it. I'm going for like smooth, very realistic. And I'm using this off-center white. It is called Egg. It is acrylic paint. I got it from my uh, my craft store a long time ago. Like I think it's like a year ago actually, or two years. It's held up really well. It's really good. It looks really pretty, and I really like it. So this clip is me painting the second coat of this white so it looks better, no streaks in it. I wanted to have multiple coats of this white. I didn't want the already what a like this primed um white color on it. I didn't like it, it was so bright and I wanted more realistic, so I used this egg color. It's like an off-white, it's really good. And then on my third coat, I did this was my last coat. And it was very, it was like the home stretch. I did one, no, my la I did four coats. The last one was off camera because I didn't think you guys wanted to see that. So I'm just painting away every nook and cranny on this horse. Okay, so what I'm doing next, I have these old paint pots from other craft sets from Briar. And I'm just using the black from here. You can use any acrylic paint that is black or any black paint. I'm just using this up. It's like halfway used and I'm just using it because it's it's just easier. I do have other black paint, so I'm just using this because I wanted to use it up. Next, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do a flicking technique, but I forgot. I haven't done it in so long. I forgot you need water for this. So I was getting my finger all dirty. So what you do is you dip your whatever color paint you want and you dip it into some water and I forgot that and it's kind of sad because it's a very easy technique and it gives really cool looks. You can do fleeping, um, appaloosa spots with it. So you just dip your paint in some water like I just did. You dip it on the paper towel and then you just use your finger to flick the brush and it gets these little spots. They can be bigger or they can be smaller. It's really up to how much paint and water is on the brush and how big you flick. So um, for this, I just added a little bit of white because I didn't want it to be just fully black. So I added some white and I just started flicking my um, paint onto my Briar model. And it's really easy. It's Even beginners can do it. And I dropped the horse, it's fine though, multiple times. And I just kept flicking it onto the horse so it gave this really nice look to the horse. And it's fine if you mess up. I, If you touch it with your finger and it gets a big blob on it or you don't like the spots, you can easily go back with some white paint, water down or just water on your brush and wipe it away and then add the white paint back or whatever color your horse is. Um, so I just kept flicking. I did a little more paint onto it. Um, so it would look, have more spots and look more realistic because uh, in my opinion, I like how it looked and I find this model really cute on how I did with the spots. This is what I um, found on Google. I found a picture to help me look at it. I like, References are good, it's just better. As you can see, I did mess up, so I just used a little bit of water, and I just wiped it away, and I used the paper towel to get rid of it, and then you can easily 
um, use your finger to wipe it away. It's just, you know, just to help get away that paint. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm mixing some white and some of the black together to create this, like, light gray. I'm mixing more white into it so it's not like a dark gray, ashy gray. Like this nice little, I don't know how to call it, I'm not a paint expert. So I'm flicking some on there so it has like this layering look to it. Very simple, I'm just doing the flicking technique like before. Just dip your paintbrush in some water, just like hold it there for like five seconds and then lift it, dip it on the paper towel a little bit if it's too wet. You don't want to, just test it out on a paper towel or cardboard, 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 whatever you have. So just don't test it on the model right away because you might not like it. And if you just want to kind of test it to see how strong, how much water is on there or how you're strong you're flicking just to get an idea. So I'm doing some more, um, just adding some more flicks on there so it creates this nice look to it. I'm just... As you can see on the leg, there are a little more blobs on the leg, right, yeah, on the left side of the leg, front leg, but it looks really good no matter what in my opinion, and I just really like it. So as you can see, I have it all on the model, <clears throat> my throat, <laughs> and I am just getting some more and I'm adding some of the spots onto there. because. They have big spots, nasty wrappers, and leopard appaloosas, and I'm just adding like big spots onto there. <clears throat> my throat feel. Why is my throat like? Mm. Well, after you do that, is you don't have to add water to this. Just dip your paintbrush in the gray mixture you created, and just dot some spots. They don't. Be, they can be whatever size you want, whatever they look like. It's all up to you. Just don't get all precise on it because it's just how they look they're not all perfect so then I'm taking some more of that paint and I'm just kind of getting more as what I can and I'm painting the mane I watered it down it's not you don't have to paint the mane it can stay white it, it's up to you what you want to paint the mane I painted it a light gray like the spots on the horse just to give it a little more not realism I, I I think so I just like it it looks really nice and it has like this nice little color to it it adds more color and like not texture it just adds a little more color and just looks really cool I, you don't have to do it you can maybe make it a little darker a little lighter you don't have to paint it and it's fine if there are flickers like not flicker fl paint um spots in there it's fine next what you're gonna do is you are going to take some black and I'm doing it. I'm adding some darker black um, paint so it gives it more like a 3D, like more texture. I'm adding some black on the lighter spots so it gives more of a look, some not on there, tinier spots, some bigger ones. I'm just making it have more spots and some of them are darker than, you know, the lighter gray because, you know, two different colors. And you don't have to do it, but that's what I'm doing. You can do how many you want. This is your horse. I'm adding some more on the bottom. And just do whatever you want. Just have fun. And I'm just adding a little bit more on the top. And it's looking really good. So I am just dipping, cleaning off my paint brush. I, eh, I don't know. So then I have a tinier paintbrush. It's really good for precision. As you can see, it's tinier than those. I'm mixing up my tan and my white. So I get like this nice little hoof color. Um, you can use whatever paintbrush you want. Just don't use something so big. I'm using a tinier one for more precision. So I'm adding some more white because I don't really like how it looks. It's a little too dark in my opinion. So I'm just adding a little bit more white. As you can see, that's what I'm <clears throat> aiming for for my model. It's up to you on what color you want the hooves to be. And it's fine if you did get black paint or any of the spots on the hooves. It just makes it like your own little horse and it adds a really cool touch to it. So I'm just painting the hooves and um, just paint them however you want. And 
just have fun. Like I said before, it's fine if there are spots on the hooves. There are spots on my horse's hooves as well. Um, but it just adds your own little touch to it. It's really cool. And I'm just nice, like very carefully going around it. It's fine if you do get paint out of the hoof line. You can always go back with white paint or some spots and put it over it and cover it up. However you want, it's your model. I did get some out, but it out of the line, but it does look good still, and you can't really tell. So you can see that's what I did with the hooves, and it's looking really good now. So I'm just setting it up against my paint so it, the hooves can dry. After the hooves have dried, I'm going to... I added a second coat though, so it looks a little better. I'm gonna do the eyes. The eyes are very simple. I just took some dark brown because I did not want to do black because uh, the spots were black. I just did a dark brown. So I took my tiny paintbrush and I just kind of carefully, like as you can tell, I'm, very, I'm being very precise on it. You can use a toothpick for this as well. You can, or the end of your paintbrush. You can do it so many ways. I'm just using my paintbrush. As you can see, I didn't mess. <clears throat> <clears throat> I did mess up. <laughs> I'm sorry for the coughing. I mean, not coughing, clearing my throat, but I'm doing the other eye and I'm just very carefully lining it up so it looks not out of the line. So there you go. You see, I did the eyes. Very simple. So after I cleaned off my brush, I'm going to be doing like the pink on the muzzle, belly, and some on the hooves. If you're wondering why I'm using pink, it's because they have this, it, ha it makes it have this really nice look to it. It's realistic. This, you don't need a lot of pink. I actually dropped, like actually squirted too much pink out. And as you can tell, that doesn't look like a lot, but you're not gonna need a lot. You just add some water, a lot of water to the paint, dip it on the paper towel, and then you just, as you can see, you brush it onto the muzzle. So it gives that really cute look. Because most white horses sleep in Leopard Appaloosa and some horses that are bays or dark browns or blacks, they do have pink on their muzzle and chestnuts and palomitos. Almost all horses have pink on their muzzle and you can see I'm just going around the hooves just to give a little pink. Try not to add too much water to it because it will drip down and you don't want it to like drip and just make sure it's fine if it is really liquidy though that's what you want and i'm doing the ears because those little ears need to be pink and i thought it was really cute little detail to it um after you do like the ears you don't have to do the ears i did that for fun you just let it dry and stuff and yeah that's really it on the pink and that's really how you painted your nad strapper horse or leopard appaloosa I really hope you enjoyed learning how to paint your very own Leopard Appaloosa or Nat Strapper. Sorry about the breathing and coloring. I don't know. I'm not good at that. But this is what it looks like at the end. This is what mine looked like at the end. You can do different. Yours is going to be way different than mine due to how you paint it. But I hope you learned how to do it. And I hope you had fun. Bye, guys.